there's some things that need to be said. I'm here in support of Councilman Curley. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop you right there, or we're gonna we're gonna stop the council meeting because I'm not gonna let you speak on something that has to do with a police, with the you police don't even know and. I was going to say. Mayor, you I had a letter. No idea, but I was going to oh, say. Oh, oh. I would like to have our city attorney uh, give the opinion about people coming up and speaking uh, uh, at the hearing of the public. If you could do that, members of the public have a right to address uh, the city council or. They may speak individually about a member of the council as well. The, anybody has a free reign of topics that they would like to speak about or address, and if they want to address a particular member of this council with criticism, they have the right to do that. That's part of our First Amendment. I also have my First Amendment right. And if you're saying something out of line as my First Amendment right, whether a mayor or not a mayor, I'm going to speak. I'm going to talk over you. This is going to be one of those meetings y'all never seen before. You're not going to disrespect people. I think it's ridiculous that you're now in this position of defending yourself against really what I consider to be outrageous claims. You're not going to I sit here so and stop. assault me, lady I never met. I am don't so call my name because I don't know what book you're reading and, our and I don't care. We have First Amendment rights. Part of our First Amendment right clearly states we have the right to redress our government without fear of reprisal or retaliation. If you can't take the criticism, you should not be mayor. I and use the police department the for my rights. If someone chooses to call you the police, that is their right. Charter. You don't victimize You're them for that. Line. You are out of line. You are out of line. line. You are out of line. You're out of line. You're out of line. You are out of line. Point of order. You are out of line. You are out of line. Hey guys, this is video from an East Point, Michigan City Council meeting recently where Mayor Monique Owens attempts to silence multiple people throughout the meeting for criticizing her. Something interesting about Monique is that she's a public speaker that you can book for your events. And so of course I did. I'm still waiting for her to get back to me and confirm the booking, but we're shooting for October 8th, 2022 in East Point, Michigan. The topic I've asked her to speak on is something that she's proven to be an expert on, silencing free speech and dissenting opinions. My invitation to her to speak reads, I would like someone to come and speak to my community about how to make East Point more like North Korea. I've seen that we share a hatred for dissenting opinions and free speech, and want someone to speak on the best ways to silence the speech of others. You seem like a perfect fit. Signed, James Freeman, previous advisor to Kim Jong-un, Communist Party of the NWO. And we know how good of a speaker Monique Owens is based on this review of one of her speeches. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Reserve your booking today. It is now 7 p.m. I want to welcome everyone to our regular meeting. So the hearing of the public is now open. You get three minutes each time. We ask you to be respectful because we have all ages and backgrounds and people that are listening. There's some things that need to be said. I'm here in support of Councilman Curley. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop you right there, or we're gonna we're gonna stop the council meeting because I'm not gonna let you speak on something that has to do with a police, with but the you police don't even know and. What I was going to say, Mayor, you I had to let her no speak. Idea, but I was going to oh, say. Well, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let her speak, but I'm okay. Hold on, you're gonna have order. But if you're speaking on something that has to do with something that has to do with a police report, we're gonna respect the people that's in that. What she means by we're not going to talk about people or things in a police report is that allegedly she filed some type of restraining order or order of protection against one of the other council members and the people of the community are upset about it. She does have a history of trying to use police and courts to silence other people's opinions and expression. Like in 2019, when she called police and told them that an 80 year old woman telling people not to vote for her constituted harassment. Yes, she literally tried to have an 80 year old woman arrested for telling people not to vote for her. Kim Jong-un would be very proud. The police informed her that in the US and A, this is protected free speech. US and A, greatest country in the world. 
Point of order, can, Mr. Albright, regarding in, uh, interruption of someone speaking in. And I'm going to have a point of order and I'm going to talk over you. This is going to be one of those meetings y'all never seen before. You're not going to disrespect people that have you interrupted things going hey, on. knowing what I was going to okay, well, talk I'll, about public things. She can talk about public, public things. Public. But I'm giving her a warning, just like we have always give people warnings before they spoke on certain things. That's inappropriate. And I have First Amendment rights as well. A point of order. It's called hearing of the public, and uh, the hearing of the public has every opportunity and every chance to say what they want uh, within the three-minute um, time, time capsule. Well, there was times with Councilman DeMonaco when a guy spoke about Republicans and things like that and certain things, he stopped them. And so what I'm saying is, this is the point of order. This is the type of order that we should have in this meeting. And so starting with certain things in this meeting, I am saying in the point of order, we're not going to talk about certain incidences to keep order. And so, yes, we have First Amendment rights, but no one, even though we have First Amendment rights, no one is allowed to say anything racial or discriminatory at that mic, and I will stop them if it's going to cause disorder. Well, you're and if you're going to say something concerning certain things, allegations that have not been done by a judge or anything like that. Wait a minute. The fuck? Allegations that have not been done by a judge or anything like that, I'm going to stop it too. Or we, or, or that's the type of meeting we're going to have tonight. So, so I'm going to continue to let her speak. I, sh I stopped the um, timing and I'm going to start it over. Our first citizen three words into what she was going to say, not knowing what she was going to say. You jumped on her disrespectfully. Don't say jump. Because you didn't know what you guys you always no, know how to use you wrong no, wording. You, you I'm not enraged like you have been. Like I said. I, I'm sorry, you said, uh, what, okay. what, what did you say? What did you say? I'm not enraged. So like I said, in well, any you like meeting. That, you like that word, and, and I love that word. Yeah. Uh, why, why are her. you... Uh, under all reason, why are you interrupting? We're not going to go back and forth. Okay, I'm going to let her continue the meeting. How about we just continue the meeting? So I'm starting your timing over. And what I, when I stopped you, that's the point of order. Now, you're going to stop talking. I'm going to ask you to leave. Now, if you want to speak, you can come to the microphone. Now, I'm going to give her some time to speak, like everyone else. I would like to have our city attorney uh, give the opinion about people coming up and speaking uh, um, at the hearing of the public, if you could do that. Uh, City Attorney. Thank you, Madam Mayor, members of Council. Uh, members of the public have a right to address uh, the City Council, or they may speak individually about a member of the Council as well. Uh, mm -hmm. But again, if it's going to get into an issue of uh, uh, racial accusations, something along those lines, then the Mayor has certainly has the right to, as the controller of the meeting, to shut that down. But otherwise, uh, anybody has a free reign of topics that they would like to speak about or address. And if they want to address a particular member of this council with criticism, they have the right to do that. That's part of our first amendment. But again, like you said, the mayor, if she sees something that's going out of order, I have, the, I have that to stop them as well. So I'm going to let, but I also have my first amendment right. And if you're saying something out of line as my first amendment right, whether a mayor or not a mayor, I'm going to speak. And all I wanted to say is, I've talked to a number of people who've known Harvey for over 60 years who have not had anything negative to say about him. Talked to a young lady the other day, said she remembers when um, she was a kid and how thoughtful and friendly you were. Hearing a person out before judging what they're going to say should be the rule. Hello. My name's Karen Belts. I've lived in this city for over 40 years. And though I, I think I've met you a couple of times, Harvey, but I really don't know you. But I do know a lot of people that do know you. You have a reputation for being reasonable, rational, intelligent, mild-mannered. Although I don't blame you for getting angry sometimes. I think it's ridiculous that you're now in this position of defending yourself against really what I consider to be outrageous claims. You're not going to I sit here so and stop. assault me, lady I never met. I am don't so call my name because I don't know what book you're reading and, and I don't care. 
If I am a person, a victim, you're not going to use that platform to re-victimize anyone. And no one in this audience is going to do that. Point to no order. woman and to no person. If a Point person order. puts a police report out on someone, you don't use that platform for that. That platform is used for policy procedures and things going on in the city, not to use it for other things and make it personal. Anyone else would like to speak? at this time. If there is a police report out or something that you've seen, you let that person and that victim and that person who's fighting that deal with the courts. You don't use that platform to victimize a person that felt like they was assaulted or fearful of their life. You don't use that platform for that. Nobody will. No one. As long as I'm mayor, you don't use that platform to re-victimize anyone, whether it's a guy, woman, or anybody. That is not the place. And while it's not good to victimize people, unfortunately, the person speaking has no credibility on what a victim is or isn't, considering that back in 2019, she thought she was the victim of an 80-year-old woman simply because that woman told people not to vote for Monique. It appears to me that Monique thinks she's a victim anytime anyone verbally disagrees with her. Now, if someone wants to talk about what's going on in this city and not someone's personal business, the hearing of the public is now open. Anyone else would like to speak and not re-victimize people that are physically assaulted or anything like that? Or allegedly? That is not what that is for. <clears throat> Karen Moragin, East Point resident. This is ridiculous. There's no reason for this. We have First Amendment rights. Part of our First Amendment right clearly states we have the right to redress our government without fear of reprisal or retaliation. If you can't take the criticism, you should not be mayor. Enough is enough. This you is a personal anger. matter. It's not about criticizing. You can criticize my policy. Stop you it. stop it. Let's get people to you you stop violating it. violating my first And you're violating right. my rights as a person that can you call the police and use the police department the for my rights. If someone chooses to call you the police, that is their right. Charter. You don't victimize them for line. that. You are out you are of line. line. You are out of line. You're out of line. Of order. You are out of line. Point of order. You are out of line. You are out of line. Now, do you want to stand there and talk about your cats and your dogs in the community, but you won't talk about you don't me? Interfere. Okay. With my free speech. And you don't I interfere with my to free criticize speech. You don't get to. With you got one minute of reprisal or what else do you want to talk about? Would you like the news crew to come out? The news already comes out. <laughs> That's it. I guess we're done. Thank you very much for being this city. We'll take a 10 minute recess. Bye. Okay. Um, so, I can't speak. Clerk's office, this is Heather. Hey, Heather, how you doing this afternoon? Good, how can I help you? Uh, I'm actually just looking for the the date of the next city council meeting, and I can't get anyone to answer, and I can't find it on the website. Sure. Uh, let me check my meeting date. October fourth at seven o'clock here in the council chamber. How, how much? Uh, how many seats are in there? Ooh. Uh, usually, I think they have about 50 but i'm not sure do you know how many people you're having probably a couple our... yeah a couple hundred <laughs> couple hundred. okay um and that'll be at the october 4th meeting let me you know let me confirm uh okay how many people can make it into which meeting um okay i'm sure you've seen that the the city's gotten national attention yeah. as monique mm -hmm. has turned it into like yeah. a comedy skit instead of a government yeah, we, thing <laughs> so honestly there's a lot of us who just like to capitalize on the comedy you know what i mean sure and okay. and and that's really all it's about we want to come and we when we see a clown show in a circus we want to come and do a three you know and do watch our, it. yeah and, and yeah. even participate you know i might be juggling we'll see and <laughs> <laughs> and then the next meeting after, like, so we'll have October 4th and then October 25th. Okay. 
October 25th. All right. Okay, thank yeah. you so much. The Monique Owens Comedy Show is held twice a month at the East Point, Michigan City Hall. Admission is free, and you can even get your own three-minute time slot to heckle comedian Monique Owens. Please contact the venue for exact dates and times of shows.